Twins looking for their fourth straight win, but Gavin Floyd and the White Sox are standing in their way. The Twins countering with Scott Diamond. Diamond gets off to a good start. Bottom one, he'll strike out Alejandro Diaz swinging. In the second, Adam Dunn goes down the same way. Then in the third, with one on and one out, Dwayne Wise will bounce one to shortstop, and Eduardo Escobar will start the inning-ending double play. Jump to the sixth inning now. It's one to nothing Chicago. The Twins have him loaded with two outs for Justin Morneau, and Floyd will walk Morneau to force in Jamie Carroll with the game-tying run. The Twins would not score again in the inning, and Floyd was done after six. Bottom six now, Diaz leading off against Diamond. He'll lay down a bun trying to start the rally, and Diamond airmails the throw to first base. It goes into foul territory in right field, and Diaz able to take two extra bases on the E1. He's at third base with nobody out. And the Twins pay for the mistake. The next batter is Jeff Keppinger. He lifts one into left center field. Aaron Hicks makes the catch, but it's plenty deep enough to score Diaz with the go-ahead run. Chicago is back in front two to one. Minnesota rallies in the top half of the seventh against the White Sox bullpen. Aaron Hicks at the plate with one on and one out. Bounce to the right side and through for a hit. Bluth around third, they're waving him in. Rios comes up firing. And Aaron Hicks with an RBI single tying the game. Hicks singles off of Matt Lindstrom to tie the game at two and snap an 0 for 23 slump at the plate. Later in the seventh, the Twins have him loaded for Josh Willingham, facing the third Chicago reliever of the inning, Jesse Crane. Driven to deep right center field. Slicing away from the center fielder Wise all the way to the fence, and it'll empty the bases. A three-run double for Josh Willingham. That gives Minnesota the 5-2 lead. Bottom seven, Josh Renicki now on for Minnesota. He'll serve one up to Adam Dunn. A solo shot snaps a career-worst 0-31 slump for the big donkey. It's 5-3 Minnesota. But the White Sox draw no closer. Bottom nine, Glenn Perkins on to close it out, and he will strike out Dunn to end the ball game. The Twins win it by a final of 5-3. The Twins extend to a season-high four-game win streak as they move to 8-7 and seven on the season. The Twins get credit for a series win in Chicago, taking both games over the weekend. After Friday's game was postponed due to cold weather, Scott Diamond gets the win. He's now 1-1 one one on the year, and Glenn Perkins records his fifth save.